Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Roisin Curie here and today I'm going to show you how to make a little illustrated recipe in a really fun way. I'm going to show you what materials I used, all the steps from concept to completion and I'm going to show you how to join in the fun. So what are the materials I needed? Okay, I used my little black Hannah Muller sketchbook. I used a bottle of Roaring Klingner ink. I'm just desperately looking for a, a bottle that you can actually read because it's so covered in, in ink. And I used two magnetic clips to hold down the pages. And I used a Fude pen. What's a Fude pen? Well, it's a Japanese fountain pen and it's got a, a, a fountain pen nib, but it's a little bit different from your standard nib in that it's bent. It's bent at a 55 degree angle. And that gives you lots of versatility in the line width that you might like to use. I use them all the time. I absolutely love them. But how do I even get that far in the first place? How do I come up with the concept? How do I choose my colour scheme and the animal that's going to do the cooking? Well, lemme brulee, lemon brulee, lemon creme brulee, is very yellow in colour. And I figured a blackbird would be the ideal little animal to do the cooking and blackbirds have got bright yellow eyes and bright yellow beaks and I thought all in all they're just right. So I have my animal tied down and I have my recipe tied down. So my colour scheme in this case is going to be yellow and black and a little bit of green for the leaves and then I write down the recipe in my diary or in a scrap of paper and I scribble out some shapes of the bird doing various bits and pieces. So there you can see he's grating the lemon, stirring the pot of custard. And then I use waterproof ink to draw out my shapes. I First of all, I draw them in pencil and then I draw on top of them with waterproof ink because the next step is to paint them. These are my watercolour paints and I've got all the colours I'm going to need. And I've got a really nice paintbrush that I'm going to use. It's a um, an OR13 by Rosemary & Co. And it's a travel brush and it's a mixture of sable and synthetic. And it's ideal because it cover so many bases. I've rubbed out the pencil lines and I'm starting to colour in the bits of yellow. I suppose I'm starting with the yellow partly because it's nice to use the lighter, cleaner colours when your water is still nice and fresh, but also partly because I sort of want to get my feeling going for the colour scheme. So I'm painting everything yellow, the little beaks, the little eyes, and now I'm using a deep Payne's grey for the bodies of the little birds. And I'm using velvet black as well, just because I want to have it looking pretty black. So I think they look very blackbirdy. So these are all little sketches taken off the web of birds in action. They're all done from photos of birdies in, in flight. And I've looked up a, an advertisement for a, a pot that I like the look of. And I'm going to use that for my, my little pot for heating the custard. Making a little colour swatch in the sides. Oh, there's a extra little yellow pan of paint because it's, it's just one I happen to have and it's very bright, clean yellow. So I've got the dark green, I've got the yellow and I've got the black colour. And I've got yellow ochre, burnt sienna kind of a mix. And then I didn't like the colour of the pot, so I painted it in dark green and added that Aquarius green in the corner. And then I drew some eggs because there's a lot of eggs in creme brulee. Um, and then I thought, well, I better bring the egg colour in. And then I, then I drew a pot of cream. But in the end, neither the colour of the eggs, that, that's supposed to be the colour of the eggshells. I didn't use the colour of the eggshells and I also didn't use the drawing of the little pot of cream. What I did was I drew a jug for the cream and I kept it simple in that way. So here's my ink, Diatramentus Document Brown. Now it's time to go to my next sketchbook which is a 250 gram Hanamula A6 sketchbook. Now you can see where I wrote in ladle in the hot cream and stir. Well, that's because I hadn't read the recipe properly. So I had the whole thing painted, as you'll see in a minute. I had the whole thing painted and then I had to go back to the sketching stage and adjust the writing. So once again, I'm adding yellow for the eyes and yellow for the beak doing everything in the same colour that I can think of while my brush has got that nice colour on it. I've drawn some nice lettering at the top of the page and I'm painting that in. And you can see a little bird song coming out of the blackbird's beak. That's because I'm trying to channel what a blackbird person is like, if you know what I mean. 
And we all know that blackbirds are like really big into singing. So I figured I'd, you know, give him a little song to sing. I'm sticking to my colour scheme. I've got Payne's Grey in different dilutions. Oh, I also include the colours that I can't not include, like the blue of the flame under the little pot. And in the end, I was able to repeat that with the blue of the blowtorch. So it's good if you can repeat a colour. Just make sure you let your let your paints dry before you add another colour close to them because you'll have a terrible colour run situation if you don't. So a bit of patience is required. Soon I'll have all the birds' beautiful black feathers painted in. Little feet. So a good bit of practice in your rough book with your shapes. Get the get that pencil going and moving and make all these lovely, lovely shapes before you start inking in. That's where I messed up the, the writing. And then I had to edit it in, in the GIMP um, editing software that I use. But it still isn't very clean. So the lesson there is to really read your recipe properly and write it out in the simplest terms before you even touch a pencil to a paper. I didn't record the process for the second half of the recipe where the custard is poured into the ramekins and allowed to cool and then the sugar caramelised on top. But you have the idea anyway for the first part of the, of the recipe. Now, a fun illustration like this is a great way to get to grips with ink and water gutter and drawing because you don't even realise you're learning so much because you're having so much fun. So I've got a course coming up and it's going to take place from the 4th to the 8th of June of this year and it's going to be completely live and recorded and online through Zoom. But if you would like to see what it's going to be like and what it's going to be about, then you can avail of a free taster class that's going to take place at seven o'clock in the evening, Irish UK time, that's UTC plus one. And it's going to be completely free. If you'd like to take part in the free class, just send me an email to sketchwithroisin at gmail.com. Don't forget your first name and where you are generally. And just let me know that you find out about it through YouTube. And I look forward to meeting you.